Tonight, those in the restaurant community mourning. It doesn't seem real. After the death of 42-year-old Jody Moyt, the executive chef at Lafayette's Music Room, identified as the victim of a stabbing in an apparent road rage case Sunday night, Julian Sally Jr., general manager of the popular Overton Square restaurant, called Chef Jody a brilliant leader. He, he did so much to influence so many different chefs in Memphis. Uh, I think he'll be remembered through all these talented chefs that, that can thank their careers uh, from learning from Chef Jody. At Lafayette's for the last nine years, he said Chef Jody also had four other popular restaurant kitchens he supported in Memphis. He said he saw him just hours before the attack Sunday night. The last I saw him was about 6 o'clock that night, and he had pulled a good 13, 14-hour shift uh, and was wrapping up. It, we actually had a blast in the kitchen because we were super busy, and I was trying to tell Chef, like, get out of here, get out of here. He's had a long day. And but Chef Jody stayed to see the job through. We shook hands, and he was out the door, and that was the last I saw him. Fast forward to 1045 that night, and police say they got a 911 call from 57-year-old Jonathan Brush requesting an ambulance and police. Brush claimed another driver, now identified as Chef Jody, ran him off the road at Sam Cooper in Hollywood, started getting out of his car, and threatened him. Brush admitted he stabbed him. When officers arrived, they say they found Brush with a pocket knife and Chef Jody with multiple stab wounds. He was taken to the hospital where he died. And tonight, Brush is charged with second-degree murder. We're live in Binghamton tonight, Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3. Thank you, Shay. And we also uncover new details about Jonathan Brush and his criminal past. WREG's investigator, Jessica Gertler, joins us in studio tonight. Jessica, what did you find out? Well, Shay, we've confirmed he's a waiter at the second line in Midtown, which is right across the street from where the victim worked. We also found out Brush has a criminal past. In 1992, he was sentenced 22 years for second degree murder. You're looking at his old mugshot right there. According to the Florida Department of Corrections, he was released in 2003. We know the crime occurred in Walton County, where Destin is. Now, we just got off the phone with authorities. They say they're working to get us more information. In the meantime, the second line posted a statement on social media. It reads in part, we are shocked and saddened by the news and goes on to say as our team attempt or as our teams attempt to make sense of this all, we appreciate your patience and understanding. They also made it clear they will not be taking our questions at this time. In the studio tonight, Jessica Gortler, WREG News Channel 3.